Hey guys, this is Amaziz and it is Tech Time and today we are doing some c -sharp programming so I'm going to start you up with a console application nothing uh, in the GUI so I'm going to jump right in and assume that you have went through the C++ tutorials if you haven't then please go ahead and go through the C++ tutorials it will help you see what uh, is for loops, what are loops, what are the variables and how we go about private and functions and main and all of this explanation that's how I learned programming. I went through C++ first and then I went on to do other uh, languages after Java and C Sharp and even Arduino, but I went through C++ first. So I, I think that it would be beneficial to you to start there. So let's go ahead and jump right in into C Sharp programming. We are gonna launch Visual Studio by going to start, typing in the search bar, F V I C V I S, and it will pop right in, just Visual Studio. Uh, here it is we opened it I have the black theme if you want to change your theme you can go to tools and you can go to options and change the theme from dark to light I like the dark theme so I'm gonna stay ahead uh, stay with it um, let's go ahead and make a new project if you don't have new project right here you can click to file new project and here's a new project so we have we are in the visual C, C sharp if you were on Visual C++, you would have this open. So you go ahead and close it. And it's inside the template. And Visual C Sharp, you click the triangle. And then you choose console application right here. After you choose it, you can go ahead and name it, whatever you want. So I'm going to go ahead and name it um, C Sharp Console uh, Application Tutorial. You can name it whatever you want, so don't worry about the naming. Here you can choose the location. I'm putting it to the desktop, so you can browse and put it wherever you'd like. I'm going to put it on the desktop. So let's go ahead and press OK. So we cannot use a um, that symbol, so I'm going to go ahead and type sharp. Sorry about that. Go ahead and press OK. Once you're done with that, my computer is pretty fast, so it's trying it right through. Uh, we don't have the lines for um, for C sharp language, so we're gonna go ahead and try and open and do that. So go to tools right here, and then go to options right here, and click it, and then go to close environment with the triangle, then go to the text text editor right here, click on it, open the triangle, and then you have all the languages right here. Click on C sharp, and then click on line numbers and OK. So now we get line numbers right here. So let me explain first thing first what is going on in this code. Why are we using using here? The using is basically like doing in C++ in the, in the start when you do, um, I forgot what you do, but when you call in uh, namespaces like IO stream or string or uh, F stream and all of those, this just uses using and you tell it which one so let's say I remove the system when I want it to be back again I just type using and then I can type s y and then it would show up all the system all all the namespaces are in brackets you see this bracket so let me type s y s you see this bracket this makes it a namespace and you you will see the namespace here it says system that's the namespace of it so what what good does this do for us I will explain it as we go when, once we start using it. So we have the namespace right here. It's just the one that you made, the name that you made. We have a class, the program that we made. And inside is uh, static, void, main. Main is just exactly the same as the main in C++. No difference at all. Um, whatever it passes, don't worry about it. Don't worry about anything inside it. All you need to do is press enter right here and start coding. So in C++, you do C out and then hello world. So I'm going to name this tutorial hello world for C sharp. This is what you do in C++, right? So I'm going to comment above it. Uh, displaying, I th displaying in C++. I hope this is how you spell it. In C sharp, what you do is instead is you see the C out? what it actually means is console out so in C sharp using common sense you just type console 
there it is that's console you see this class system dot console this is using the namespace system so console is inside system let's say what is this inside is the inside system also inside system all of these things are inside all of these things let me let me go back to it again uh, all of these things inside all of these are inside system everything is inside system so let's go ahead and type system dot dot so let me write it again so in just in case you missed it console dot you have everything inside you can make a beep noise you can make the background color different you can make whatever you want I haven't I haven't experienced with it but it's just as it says it's just as it says so let's try finding a function so say you're looking for a, fun for a function to display something do I press print no I believe Java uses print do I use write yes now there's two differences there's write and write line write only displays the text that you sent but without putting an end line at the end so if you want you can type this open the function and it takes either a bool value or char or char buffer or decimal or double or float decimal is another type of double but it's for money so don't worry about that so what we what we're gonna pass to it is a string so say hello world just like that you can type this and at the end you put an end line like this one this is an end line this is similar to saying um, end line like this in, in C++ so let me comment that out as well so you, you you know it is the same as end line in C++ all right so you've displayed this what if you just want to have it to have an end line at the end anyway you do write line and it would write only one line and anything after that line won't like there won't be anything after in, in that line other than the text you put so even if the user wants to type the, he, he can't go back to that line because there was an end line there so you tap it like this and that's it so let's go through it and debug I'm gonna put um, a dot right here whatever you call it and I'm gonna go ahead and press start or F5 and here is our window let's put it on the side let's put this on the side as well and let's drag it so we can see better okay so now we are at console that's right line hello world what this will put is hello world with an end line so let's go ahead and step over it the step over is right here this f this um, that this logo or whatever and f10 is a shortcut so that's what I'm going to be using this one step inside console like it shows you the code for for C sharp that's written by Microsoft we don't want to go through that this one just flies through it so I don't want to do that I want to step just one line after another so I'm going to press it here it is hello world with an end line and see where the cursor is I can type well I can't type because uh, I'm debugging so it won't let me do anything but it is there we see where the cursor is so it did put an end line right here so another F10 the same thing happens the cursor is right here and the end line happened right here and then once you're we're done it completes it it's get it gets out so we can run it as debug start without debugging it shows the two of it and if you start without debugging C sharp automatically puts in press any key to continue so you don't have to to system dot pause the system dot pause what it actually does it kind of slows down your computer um, it doesn't really slow it down it's in a couple milliseconds so I don't really care about it but people who are into the code way too much which I think it's not necessary it slows it down by a couple milliseconds because it goes into your computer goes finds that command in Microsoft in their operating system the command for pausing and then it pauses it and shows you this text so it, it takes some time and it's not found in in Apple's uh, iOS because it's a Microsoft thing to find the command for pause in DOS 
it's, it's, it's inside DOS, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong on this one in the comments. So, there's press to, uh, any key to continue. I will comment it out. This is pretty much it for a C Sharp console application. You don't need anything else. Uh, everything else pretty much the same. The, in here, you can define global variables. So, you can string uh, global variable equal uh, hello world. And you can just pass it inside. Um, right here in one of the words it will be fine I'm gonna go ahead and actually um, I'm just gonna you know what why not let's let's do console dot write not line we're just gonna do right and we're gonna pass the global uh, variable hmm, what's going on here let's see global and close it so it's, oh what's actually going on is this is not a static uh, variable and this is a static uh, main is static so we can just this should fix things up because it was static I don't want it to be static I just want to make it private so we can make it private and it would work fine with this and there it is let me remove this global variable so you can type it again global variable there it is you just have to change this from static it was like this static and we just change it to private that's all and there's the global variable and then we're gonna um, add a space so we can see that and then we're gonna run it control f5 there's an issue with it and main has to be static sorry about that there's static uh, we can make the variable here string static. I don't want to explain anything about this yet as we are just beginning to do things. So I just wanted to make a shortcut for it. But here it is. Just make uh, the variable global strings uh, a global variable static. And then it will run. There it is. Hello world. The right is right here. So let me, let me, let me debug it for you guys so you can see it uh, one by one. Here's one side. There's Far Cry. Um, Let's drag it on the side. Okay. So, first thing is right global variable and space. See, if I put my cursor here, you see the space right here. And it didn't put an end line. The cursor is right here. So, we pu push F10 again, and the cursor is going to be right here. The end line is right there. You see the space. This is the first line. This is the first console. That right line. This is the second one. And there is the thir third one right here. And the end of it. So, uh, let me make it short and end this uh, tutorial by saying global variables, console.write line are same as C out. There's the using, there's the main, there's nothing complicated about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and let me know. And I hope you watch the C tutorials. Uh, in the next tutorial, I'm going to actually do some visual um, things in C sharp and console. Um, in I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with, WPF or Windows Forms application. I'm going to do Windows Forms application, so just stick with me, and see you next time.